Hello, my name is Terry White, Worldwide Design and Photography Evangelist for Adobe, and it's my pleasure in Adobe Muse CC for 2015 to show you starter designs. Let's take a look. Now, I'm in the welcome screen, which normally comes up when you launch Muse um, right off the bat without opening the site, and I get the new site capability, which of course that's been there since day one. And what that allows me to do as a designer, create a new site from scratch without having to write any code, and that's great if you know how to design pages and you know how to make them look good. But if you are um, kind of design challenged or want some help or you're new to Muse and you want some ideas, they're now the new starter designs at the bottom of the welcome screen. So we start you off with five designs. We could populate this with more, but five designs to get started with. Now, of course, just looking at the kind of cover pages of these, you may not know what they do or what, what or if they're what you want. So you notice that there's a preview button for each one. So that means if I click the preview, it will actually open up a sample of that website on the web. So I can actually peruse it, see what it does. I can click on the links to go to the other pages. And I can also preview this on um, multiple devices. If I have the link, um, which I see at the top there, I can also check it out on my tablet and my smartphones. So great to be able to uh, check these out and see what they are. And that way I can see if this is a, a starter design that I want to start with. There's even a help area up here, a little tutorial to help you get started with the starter designs. Now let's head back to Adobe Muse. And I, I kind of already took a look at this one earlier. It's one for photographers. And I'm going to go ahead and just click on it. Now this one, as opposed to the other one we looked at, is a single page site. So there's just the main page. One thing I will um, advise you to look at whenever you open up one of these starter designs is the first thing you should look at is the master page. Because some of the starter designs use master elements spread across all, this, all the pages, so you want to make those changes to the master elements on the master page first. The other thing you'll notice is that there's an extras page. And this extra page does not get published with the site, but it gives you some extra content to use. So for example, if you need some social media icons, they're already here and they're kind of designed to match the site. Uh, if you need some tab panels or anything like that, for this particular site, it's all here and ready to go. Now I'm going to close the extras page and head to the main page itself. Now of course with any template, any starter design, uh, there are going to be things that aren't what you want. So for example, I don't want this, I don't want this to say exposure a photography Muse template. I don't want it to say Muse template at all. Let's get, get rid of that. And of course I'd want to change this to the name of my studio. So let's change it to Terry White, oops, Terry White Photography. And I noticed that it's it's okay if it went to two lines, but I don't have to keep that point size. Again, this is a starter design. None of this is locked in stone. You can start with these designs and change them any way you want. Now, what's this element in the background here? I see when I hover over it that it's a slideshow, and I'm assuming it's a slideshow with you know some sample images in it well i want to use my own images so i can right click on this and one of the newer muse features is clear widget contents i love that that way i don't have to go manually picture by picture deleting them out of the slideshow i can just wipe them all out and then i can go to the slideshow and add in my own photos so i'm going to add in a few photos here from my uh, landscapes um my landscapes folder actually i want Yep, okay, those are the ones I want. And let's get those in and open. So now it will populate that slideshow with my own images. And of course, I can keep going. Scroll down, I can see where it says about. And uh, I want to change this. This is going to be about me. So I'm going to go ahead and just change my name here. And of course, if there's anything else I want to change, with the, which I would on the sample text, I would just change it. Then I see some galleries here that, of course, I could go in and replace uh, these galleries or these slideshows with other images. And, of course, here's a map. So if I wanted to change the map to a map of my studio, I just change the address. If I want to change any of this, I just change anything I want. If I don't want this text, um, either change it or simply delete it. It's up to you. That was a starter design that you can start with to get going. Now I want to preview my work so far. So let's go to, uh, I can preview it in Muse, or I can go preview page in browser, and that will build the HTML, show it to me in my browser 
which makes me feel like that's real because I'm looking at it in a web browser outside of Muse and I know Muse uh, has WebKit built in, but this is actually showing me what it's gonna look like on the web. So I get that nice wide uh, full width slideshow. I've got my name there. I've got my about Terry White there. And of course I would just keep going, go back to Muse and make more changes until the site is what I want it to be. After that, I can publish it anywhere I want. So I can go up to my file menu and I can either publish it via FTP to any host in the world through Business Catalyst or export the HTML as a folder and hand it off to a developer if I want them to do more with it. But that gave me the ability to get started quickly with a design without me having to go from scratch and design every single little element in the site. So check out Starter Designs in Adobe Muse CC for 2015.